Go. It is Sketchy Live with me, Johnny Jalopy, and my wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous, luscious, smart, oh. sexy, rocking oh. the beanie always. I know. I love it. Oh, my God. I just got turned on for a second. Well. <laughs> I, I didn't really look at you. And I just looked at you. Anyways, um, wow. it's Eddie B. It is me. And what you know is what going on, Eddie B? What'd you forget? My eyes. What do you mean? I don't oh. have glasses on. Oh, your glasses. Well, you, better go, you better go get your glasses. In the meantime, let me pull up the ever, ever changing, always present. It's supposed to be there already, and I didn't have it up and running. We're, we're as much as we're there, we're not there. <clears throat> the logo and all the good stuff. Oh, for crying! Oh, for crying! Hey, while you're in there, grab my thumb drive that's on the, on the, uh, yeah, on my desk. It's my big, uh, my uh, uh, the memory uh, thing. Anyways, hey, it's Monday night. It's sketchy live. No more football. We're heading to the Super Bowl. Hope you watch the playoff games. Wow. Yes. Wow. What crazy games uh, this weekend. Uh, this has been some crazy football if you're a football fan. And you're not, you don't even really watch it. I don't watch a ton of football. I am a foot. I love football. I don't know a lot of new football, but I am a football fan. Um, yeah. Thanks, uh, JBL. And uh, crazy games. So, but we're headed to the Super Bowl, but no Monday Night Football tonight, as far as I'm understanding. No, and we have we have twenty seven people on. That's a good start. Twenty seven to jump we'll off. Take with. We hey, will take it. I don't it. know if you heard, but somewhere in the broadcast, if you remind me, make sure you remind me. Okay. Um, tonight we're give we got a giveaway. We oh. had it. We're supposed to do a giveaway last week. We're gonna do a giveaway tonight. It's gonna be a full package. We're gonna give away the sketchy live or uh, excuse me, the sketchy speed equipment hat and limited edition. I don't. There's not many of these. Uh, at least. I wanted to get my paws on them. I couldn't believe I uh, I showed them in the pop on. It's the full custom garage sticker. Mm -hmm. It's rare. It's, there ain't a lot of these. And no. then the full custom and if garage. You look on the bottom of that, it says Map TV. Yeah, this is from the Map TV when it was Map it's like TV. Outdated. So kind of a collector's item. Yeah. And then the uh, current uh, full custom garage uh, doesn't say anything about Motor Trend, but this is the uh, full on photo. the current. Deal. So those are nice. going to be given away to some lucky person tonight. Some lucky, Stick. lucky person. So hang in because you know we're not giving away up in the front. That means you got to watch it till the end. <laughs> Boom. That's how we get you. Um, it is season five, episode four. Tonight. Guys, season five. We've been doing I this. Know. Hey, if four you're a first years. time or you're a new sketchy live, but maybe part of the Jalopy Army, if you haven't joined the army yet. You're going to want to jump in and join the Jalopy Army. I think we're going to start doing That's another thing I want to fix your necklace. I was looking at your boobs. Um, <laughs> Ty knows. Uh, I think we're going to do an official Jalopy Army thing. What do you mean? I'm going to create a, an official like Jalopy Army thing where it's like a thing and a thing and you get a thing and you're part of the Jalopy Army. You're part of it. You know what we ought to do? Mm. Patches. What's I'm saying? Oh. Something cool like that where it's, you know. Only the Jalopy Army people would have it. Anyways, uh, 
Go to the website, johnnyslappy.com. You can watch old episodes and see where we started, where this all started way back. Four years ago. Four years. Well, this is our fifth year. It is our fifth 2018 year. 2018 was our kickoff year, though. So, that's so we started. tonight. Anywho, what are you drawing? Uh, we're revisiting old, old John Jalopy works. Um, so I've done a, 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 this is something I did. Well, let's see if the date's on there. I don't think the date is on there. Uh, 2014. Ooh, blast from the past. Yeah, so we're going to rework this because you you said to me tonight, you were like, hey, why don't you do a revisit? I told you to do and a revisit. We enjoy doing revisits. I'm glad you revisited the revisit. So we're going to do a revisit. Well, while you're getting settled there, now that people know what you're going to be doing, what is it though? It's a just a cool little uh, monster in a hot rod. Monster? Gosh, <laughs> does anybody remember Monster Mondays? Oh, oh that could have been a great trivia the, for the I didn't away. I thought you were just giving stuff away. I didn't know you were trivializing. I mean, I'm just saying that would have been trivializing it. Trivial. That just would have been a great <laughs> It would have been a great one. But what was but the, you know what, what was the original name of, of the people who have been here the longest are still on the broadcast and they would have known. They would have known. And they would have won yet again. That's true. So that's good though. All right, let me tell you who's on. We don't mind We've got Lizzie Daughtry Oop. from Dade City. Whoop whoop. We've got James Olchen, Hark, I Hear Theme Music. Oh, actually, he said Time Music, T-H-Y-M-E, but I'm pretty sure he meant to say theme. <laughs> Robert Spears said, Hi, thought, guys, from I, snowy New Jersey. I probably would have wrote Thyme Music, too. You um, yeah, New Jersey, under snow. Under cray, siege. Cray. Bob McLaren says, hey, hey. Welcome, sir. Mike Ferrucci, evening, guys. It's Sketchy Monday. Yes, indeed, it is. Uh, Paul Marziani is joining us. He says, yeah, hello all. Are you still in Bradenton, Paul? Yeah. Um, Charles, we got to make it up to the motorsports one of these times. We got to go somewhere. We haven't gone. I don't feel like we've gone anywhere. We haven't gone anywhere. We haven't gone We're anywhere. We're boring. Um, Charles Lloyd is joining us. Welcome, sir. What's up, Charles? Welcome to the broadcast. James Olchen said, Jim Olchen present and accounted for. Nice. Um, we've got Pat Conniff joining us. Hello from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Two of our favorite people are from Wisconsin. The Wisconsin Hot Rod Radio. That's right, Captain Barb and Arlo. Two oh. of our favorite people. Um, we've got Mike Quilliams. Quilliams. I like it. Not Williams. Quilliams. That's kind of cool. That is cool. That's super cool. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. Um, he said, hello, I would love some stickers. Well, stay tuned, Mike, because there is an opportunity. Anything is possible. Um, Lizzie said, I stopped the game because the Bucks lost. Yes, that was uh, quite the defeat the other day, but, uh, you know, it happens. Hey. Can't be happens. on top forever, right? You can't in many situations. Charles Lloyd said, stickers, heck yeah. Mike Fritchie said, four weeks till the start of the 2022 NHRA season. Yes nice can't wait gear and i've got to make it to gator nationals i think i missed this last year i did no, actually i thought you went no i missed it no they rescheduled it i thought no so a later i time. made it to the reschedule one but then they ran it again and i missed it oh yeah because well, you had just been there we went to georgia oh yeah. right oh yeah. um derek johnson's joining us. he says love the vw t-shirt now do you do you have the shirt I'm, I'm the one filling orders, and there's just yes. there's been so many. So Listen, I'm sorry. I apologize if I don't remember. But sketchy speed equipment T-shirt. There are three different sketchy speed equipments. Two in the VW category. One in a super ultra hot rod one. There it's and the newest one is the the sketchy speed equipment shirt is friggin' cool. It is cool. Oh my god. Lots of buzz on that one. Yes. Um, Dan Schleisman said hi guys. Stickers. So he's interested in stickers, stickers. as well. Kevin Johnson joining us from Hud Wheels. Another another one of our favorite Wisconsin people. Yes. <laughs> um, Charles Lloyd said, newbie, first live watch. Well, Yay! Welcome to we the podcast. We love new yes. people. I'm, you know what? I'm not even on you right now. Let I'm me, not even on you, man. <laughs> Let me do a side nobody, by side so you can see what knows. Johnny's doing. So he, um, like he mentioned in the beginning, he had done this design back in 2014. Just line work? Yeah, that's all I did. I, okay. never, I never really. That's where it stopped. Was line work. He never colored it in. It never went anywhere. It wasn't a sticker. It wasn't a print. It wasn't a, a mm -mm. t-shirt design or whatever. Nothing. Um. So he's revisiting that, and he's going to amp it up because that's what he does. Your 2014 style, although very similar to your 2022 style, seven years ago, I think you've come 
quite a long way in seven years. Well, already I'm fixing this forearm that was way too big. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to make, hopefully we'll make some proportions correct. Right. Um, already like the redo on the tire. We're, we're messing around, making it a little funny. Like these front tires are a little skewed. I like them, but we're going to, we're going to fix them a little bit. So there'll be some things I'm going to keep the same. Some I love the cart stuff. I love the cartoony uh, look of it, but there's some stuff that's uh, some proportions that need to be fixed. And Charles, um, this is your first watch. We have had some people draw along with Johnny. Yeah, feel free. So I'm going to try and keep up the um, the sketch screen so you can see what he's doing and maybe uh, try it. Try it. You like it. Try it. You might like it. Uh, Mike Williams said, I love to have anything. Yes, we all would love free stuff. So heck yeah. Um, Hank Dutton said, Jalopy Army Monthly Box. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about a monthly box. We've gone oh. broke in the past <laughs> with our boxes. Um, we do a lot of giveaways but, here. But I would like to bring. I would like to bring back the mystery box. I think I want to put it on the website. Oh, okay. It it was fun because now that we have so much merchandise, the mystery box would be cool. Truly a mystery because it's really there's so many things that I, we could, we could that could yeah. end up in there. Yeah. And if we have um, Draco Cycles on tonight, he was the very first recipient of the, the oh, first, the mystery, first box. mystery box. There were only a few. I think we only did four or five mystery boxes, but Draco Cycles is the first recipient. Um, Charles Lloyd not, said... Not that means anything, but maybe someday. Charles Lloyd wants to know where do we sign up for the Army? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's in the works. But uh, hey, listen, you can go to the Jelani, the the Jelani, <laughs> Johnny Jalopy website. There's a newsletter you can sign up for. Yeah, and then really, um, what what constitutes the true army? I think is to to have a piece of Jalopy gear. Well, I mean, whether it's a sticker, pur purchase or the Jalopy a... Army T-shirt. That's there's a start. There you go. Twenty five bucks there on a T-shirt. Now there is. So, for instance. One of the rare pieces that the only the Jalopy Army has are the Jalopy Army sweatshirts. Yes. There are only a select few so far that have them because right. we've only made a certain, certain amount available. Amount, and we we've only made them available on Monday nights. Not on the website. Not on the website. Mm -hmm, it's not a website item. Mm -hmm. So, and I think that may stay that way for a little while mm -hmm. um, just to keep them. Maybe so till next season. So they, so they stay <laughs> so we're special. We're kind of out of the winter season right now, but. Um, Robert Spear said, I love the on air light. I'm going to have to steal that idea. Right. Isn't that cool? Thanks. Um, Johnny's had that since I met him. Um, I don't know where you got it from. You've had it for years. Well, because that's, uh, I guess this really falls back into really dream. This whole thing is all this is dreams coming true for me. It, it was, you know, in high school, my dream was to have my own apparel business. Right. Check Mark. Uh, to be uh, either in movies or film or TV, check mark. Um, I, I always thought, oh man, radio would be fun or some be some sort of doing some sort of your own broadcasting thing. Check, check mark. mark. <laughs> Trophy wife. Tr check mark. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then there's tons of stuff that have happened that I would I would have never even imagined. So, right. Yeah. You've been in magazines. You've been on TV. You've pretty much done it all. You've you've done work for celebrities. I, yeah. I mean, would have never imagined crazy stuff going on over here at Johnny Jalopy Art. Uh, to think that this start well prior to my involvement. Well, it, it had already started, so I can't take uh, full credit. any credit for promoting it. But um, it didn't. It, I think it, didn't it take really off. it really got a little bit more facilitated. I think when Absolutely. you and I started dating, because Absolutely. he had actually put away his art stuff um, after a prior relationship breakup and really wasn't doing it. Yeah, no. And I, I said to him, man, I'd really like this stuff done. And could you, you know, show me what you do? And he was so excited to share his skill with me and his I was, I was excited to show many skills with you <laughs> <laughs> and many talents. All of them well received. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> so... I think that that kind of put the fire on them, fire under them. And then um, it just progressed from there. And it was just really facilitated, I think, throughout our relationship to, yeah. to this point where Johnny Jalopy Art was truly just him. And he he actually invited me to be a part of it. So I'm thrilled. 
to be a part of what we're doing on Monday nights, to be a part of the behind the scenes with the order filling and shipping and invoicing and taxes. And, you know, I'm doing all the administrative stuff for Johnny Jalopy Arts. So you're, you're, you're a huge component, huge component. I don't want to say I'm a backbone. I, you are a uh, of the operation, Lynchman. but I'm definitely part of the skeletal system. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you're a lynchman. I'm a lynchman. You're now a lynch that I know what that is. You're part of the lynch mob. <laughs> um, Lizzie Daughtry said, I have new Valentine stuff coming out this week. Nice. Please keep an eye out. Elizabeth Handmade Jewelry. So Elizabeth yeah. um, has been a huge supporter of Johnny Jalopy yes, Art. She probably sure. has one of everything we have um, from almost day one. I mean, I think she came on maybe maybe halfway through the first yeah. season or second season, but she's, she's been around a long time and super creative herself. She makes handmade jewelry out of resin and just other cool stuff. So go check out her page. Um, Elizabeth handmade jewelry. She said to put in your order for Valentine's day. Uh, yeah. It's if, coming up. If you've got a sweet hard, it's coming up quick. We've got the McCoys, Brian and Lisa McCoy from Maurice, Louisiana, joining us. Another rider um, dies. Welcome from the Cajuns of Kuyan Customs. That's right. It's so cool that they're using that. Playing on the Xbox with the Johnny Five tribute car. Nice. Nice. Did you did you see the car he did? No. You know? Yeah, he posted it on. Uh, I haven't been on Facebook today. It's been like a week ago. Oh, then no. That's okay. Yeah, sorry. I, I will look though. I will because I am interested in seeing it. I'm um, Hank Dutton. Hank Dutton Dayton. said Monster Monday. Hank is is also a longtime supporter of Johnny Jalopy Art. Yes, he is. He is the originator of our website. He handles all of that day to day stuff for yep, us. It's amazing. Up. Super happy to have him we, he is handling our stuff. Facilitate made so many so many of the uh, dreams of mine come true as well, and the, and the things that he's helped us get off the ground so we uh huge thanks and a super talent himself go check out hankd.com he's got some cool stuff going on over there cool he's a cool artist he does he's a cool, cool, cool artist he's a cool and if he's cool enough he can burn that through and through well, i didn't know it was that far yeah. okay. <laughs> you might have to monitor our zoom meetings i now. guess so <laughs> good to know <laughs> Uh, Mike Williams said, when are you going to be on Full Custom Garage? Great question. Mike, uh, Johnny was just out there filming uh, the episode a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Just the beginning of January, he had gone out to see uh, Ian. And um, I don't know yet when that's going to be aired. I mean, there's probably editing. He's got to finish the build first, which I think he's still working still on. Still working on. Can you less of a babysit here? Pick me up, do you get it? Yeah, I, like I, I went into the cup, to my cu sippy cup, and it was like nothing in there. Because I was doing a half glass because it was the old wine, oh. so I didn't want to fill it to the brim. To the brim. Yeah, it's good. So, um, anyone joining us for the first time, we do have some wine usually on Monday nights That's right. during the broadcast celebration. Yes. Um. So back to the question of full custom garage. Uh, just filmed with Ian may have to go back and refilm there may be some uh, another portion of it that they need him to do so we're kind of on standby waiting for that to see if that happens yeah we haven't uh, completely come up with the exact how we're gonna go to paint with it yet or still some decisions to be of, made lots of things to be made and... we will see what happens i i would maybe the end of this year i don't know I don't know what the time frame is yeah, on I, don't, I don't know how the schedule works yeah. as, as far as but we that. will definitely keep you updated so please uh, head over to Johnny Jalopy's uh, Facebook page or on Instagram or YouTube or here on Monday nights and you'll you'll get the down low. You get the D low. Hank Dutton said blue goo. Remember blue goo? <laughs> I love blue goo. He was he was one of our uh, Monster Monday Monday Monster Monday monsters yeah. from back in the day. Um, Jeff Bell's joining us. He says, I like the way you rework it. No diggity. <laughs> We've got Howard Pierpont joining us. Howard has been an amazing support for Johnny Jalopy Art. Great insight on stuff. Great advice on things. We're happy to have him as part of the Jalopy Army. He always checks in from, oh, tonight he is in Mineola, Texas. What? I was going to say Greeley, Colorado is where he's from. Is that allowed? I, I think he is allowed Did we travel. authorize a... Is, I think this is part of his travel. Oh, okay. I think he's okay. in route to see other Jalopy Army people that's awesome yeah um 51 degrees and overcast in mineola texas on the road so it's actually not that chilly where he's at 
Um, we've got Joseph Rogowski joining us. Hi, guys. Welcome, sir, to the broadcast. Lou Linder Jr. is joining us. Happy Monday yes. from Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Ronnie Grady joining us. Hello, sir. Welcome. Mike Smith, another Wisconsin follower. Wow. Excited. Wisconsin is blowing up. It really is. We've got Mama Wood, Mary Wood, Mama Wood. For anyone who does not know, Mama Johnny's Mama, my Mama, Mama Wood, and Tim. Hi, my sweet babies. Love you, she says. Love you too, Mama. Love you, Mama. Mike Pulliam said that he's from Alabama. Yes, we'd love to hear where you're from. So if you want to introduce yourself, say hello to us, um, let us know where you're from. And if you feel like telling us the weather, go ahead. We love it. Feel free. <laughs> we love the weather shots. Uh, Paul Marciani said, still here, got COVID. Ah, oh. he got COVID. Oh, I hope you feel better, Paul. I'm glad you're, uh, you've got enough strength to watch us tonight. <laughs> Uh, Joe Lombardo is joining us from Jersey. What's Hello. Up, Joe? Uh, Robert Spears said, I won Wordle. The answer was Itty B. <laughs> I've been playing it with my son who's out in California and there's a time difference, obviously. So usually I send him my, my Wordle before he even gets up. So he wakes up to my uh, screenshot. I don't give him the answer, obviously, but um, yeah, it's a little running competition we have going on. <clears throat> it's been fun. Always is, isn't it? Huh? I said it's always one. Yeah. Um, Joe Burdett's joining us, getting ready to get uh, asshole deep in snow. You're in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet. Probably pretty chilly there. Uh, Derek Johnson said, I do have the VW one and two others. Thanks. Nice. Oh, fantastic. Glad you like them, Derek. Um, take some photos, if you would, of yourself wearing the jalopy gear and send them over. We've got a jalopy army album on Johnny's Facebook page, and we've been posting everybody in their merch or with their merch. So uh, if you'd like to be a part of that, feel free, send it over. Um, Joe Lombardo said, when is the next full custom build going to be televised? Again, we don't know. Johnny just did uh, get back from Mojave with Ian and... Uh, was filming out there. So he is waiting, I guess, for the next the next phone call or the next step to see what else might be needed from him. If you're and, following, you can yeah. see that there is progress being made. There Running is. boards were placed on the vehicle today, which was great yeah. to see. Definitely taking shape. Uh, Mike Bartosh is joining us. What's up, guys? And then he said stickers, for sure. Stickers. He's reminding us because you said to remind you. That's right. Um, Charles Lloyd said, custom painter, use lots of stencils, not much freehand work. That's okay. Stencils, you, you yeah. used hey, to use stencils as well when, when you're doing airbrush. Bronze. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, stencils are great. It's just a tool, another tool. Draco Cycles is joining us, and he said, serial number one, whoop, whoop. Yes, he does have the first mystery box, and that might be something we, we will revisit in 2022. So stay tuned for the mystery box. Uh, Robert Spear said, I have a Jalopy Army sweatshirt. I remember sending it to awesome. you. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, Hank said, a true JJ Army member has a red JJT. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, we have actually. I think I think if we got an army green shirt with the um, design on or it, or even maybe a camouflage. Do they sell yeah. a camouflage T-shirt like that? Yeah, we'll have to look into it. Yeah, that would be, that'd be cool. That would be cool. Um, Alex Cuderon is joining so us. Always, it's always fun to wear camo. Yes. Um, Alex said the on air sign is super cool. Yeah, we're digging it too. It was so funny because we've had this for years. I have it set up. In, in the office area where we do our work. Mm -hmm. And what were you in there doing? Looking for something. I, well, I, I yeah, I was grabbing the speaker. Mm. And I was like, oh, yeah, for, we've had this forever. Why would why you are done we using this? Every Monday night for I how know, long? I know. Why are we using it? So here it is. <laughs> and then three minutes, of course, three minutes before we go yeah, on you air. You gotta run around like a chicken with you. We're looking for a, a different light bulb to put in it because there was too much of a glare and it is still kind of glary. It's still a little glary. It. It's a little glary. It's Larry. okay. It's okay. Um, Draco said, I think I have a red one and a blue one. Oh, oh he's special. Battle. Jeff Bell said, Johnny has done it all. Movies, TV art, and male romance novel model. That's right. 
I don't want to talk about it, but uh, are you referring to his mullet days with no. the luscious locks? It's oh. when I used to. Well, I, I mean, I posed nude. Well, I didn't use my name. I used my name, my my stage name, and it was Mike Honcho. Whatever. You I, don't, won't, you I don't, won't tell you about my. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Hank said JJ was excited to show his skill with Itty things that make you go. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alex said used car salesman. Uh, Jim Pollen said, hello, everyone from Hobo's Hot Rod Garage in Horseheads, New York. Jim Pollen has done some amazing metal work. I feel like, is it is it an embossing technique that he uses? Uh, it's, it's almost like a, I don't know how he's doing it, but. It's, uh, he's uh, actually. Crazy. Uh, bead rolling is what it is. Oh, so, bead, that's right. So I couldn't remember the name of it. Bead rolling they would use to to stiffen up steel to make you put be a, a rolled bead in in the metal and it would strengthen it up so you could take a flat piece say are you doing a floorboard mm -hmm. you put you put uh, roll beads in it and it would actually strengthen so it wouldn't be very flexible mm. well guys started creating and doing taking those same deals and creating artwork with it mm. and so that's something that uh yeah he does a he does a lot of cool metal of working cool though because yeah. he's had He's had some other stuff. Well, too. he's a fabricator too. Yeah. So fantastic. We got lots of those here. Yes, we do. Shaggy LeBlanc. And... Yes, we do. Yeah. Um, Darren Nevis is joining us. Love the Munster cars. Yes. Oh my gosh, those were a blast for Johnny to do. I know you really enjoy doing those. The yeah, uh, grandpa's coach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, what was the other one? <laughs> What's the name of it? The Munster Coach. Oh, the monster coach, but didn't you do something else? Dragula. Oh, Dragula. That's what it was called. That's um, Grandpa's car. Oh, that is Grandpa's yeah. car. I couldn't name of it. I knew That's it. That's okay. That's okay. Um, Peter Wark is joining us. Heidi from Bar, Vermont. Whoa, Vermont. Vermont. Every time I hear Vermont, I think syrup. That is, uh, that's my, my dad is from Vermont. I know. Great, uh, Great Falls. <laughs> Springfield. <laughs> Springfield, Vermont. Mm -hmm. It just sounds like a good it's very, it's, syrup area. Oh, there is syrup. Or as we like to call, you know, the people from America, syrup. Syrup? Syrup. 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 <laughs> Maple syrup. Those who are in tune with the English language, we go syrup. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's syrup. Mm. <laughs> um, Alex, you make the gum. <laughs> Alex said, drinking beer or wine probably won't solve any of your problems, but neither will milk or water, LOL. Yeah, or water. Or water. <laughs> Tom Reeves is joining us from Newport Richie. That's What's where we are. On? He's probably outside in his car. <laughs> I'm here. Hey guys, I'm outside. <laughs> uh, Joe Lombardo said, can't wait for the next build on Full Custom. My DVR has 47 Full Custom episodes. Need a lot. Yeah, me too, a lot man. Of a lot amo i don't know that might have a been lot of mo i don't know that's what it says <laughs> um alex is joining us from brooklyn michigan here nice. nice the mish um hank said i'm still waiting to be invited to the next episode of the 52 um well it was actually the 51 um at this point it, we might be at 52 <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, actually, now that we have, and and I don't know if we'll ever go back to the fifty-one. To be honest, I think with the sketchy live, the way we've now perfected the perfected. because we we're both on camera now, we can do it, and from we, here. we are able to bring a guest in, and we yeah. are going to have to coordinate that. But we do have the headphones now, which we will have to wear if we have a yes, guest. Yes, we figured that out. Don't have to wear them if we don't have a guest. It was very distracting, but I think with the guest right because then you would hear what they're saying right yeah yes super important so um we are going to coordinate that but we did have a couple people that wanted to be a part of it yeah so we, we're we're listen we're ready to go it's coming today um, would have been uh you know today was uh i'm actually feeling a thousand times better um than i felt uh a couple hours ago so um yeah i don't think i would have been able to coordinate anything probably earlier not. Probably not. Um, Lane Kelton is joining us. Laney Kelt. Laney Kelt. Lane has actually been an in-person guest. guest. Yes, he has. On uh, Sketchy Live Monday Night. That's the, right. the only other in-person people we've had on the show have been friends and family. Yeah, that proves the point that realistically the, 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 uh, the 51 
is is kind of obsolete. This really does can do that. We've melded. Yeah. Um, Jimmy Barker's joining us. Hey guys, Southern West Virginia salutes you. Well, thanks. I love West Virginia. Yes, you do. <laughs> we stayed there once. Yeah. <laughs> Accidentally, great. but I loved it. It was great. Mom, um, mama. The McCoys said, Itty B. Howard is in Manola, Texas, is how you pronounce it. Manola? Men Manola. She said Manola. So Manhai? I thought it was Maniola. Oh, there was an I in it. How was that? So it's being man, disregarded? It's Manhai. <laughs> no. And then, and then she put Lisa. So I knew it was Lisa, not Brian correcting me. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Just so you're aware. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Barker wants to know uh, when you are heading back to the desert again. Yeah, I wish. No clue. Soon. Yeah. No clue. It sucks. We're I got to tell you, that's, that's, that's the hardest part of all of this uh, guest appearing is uh, having to leave. I know when it's not done. It's like you wanted to come home, but you well, I, want yeah, to come absolutely. Home. I miss you, and I want to come home because you know I love you. Aww. But yeah, you know we're good, but we're cool like that. But um, but the hard part is leaving when the project's not done. I know, and you I mean, just... even though we've discussed, we discussed a lot of things, and we collaborated with a lot of stuff, and I think we're on a uh, we have a clear vision of, of what we had talked about doing and stuff. There's still that, and, and I mean that's part of the process is that here's where Ian can go and do his thing but i'm sure for him too it'd be cool to have like him working on this fiberglass stuff right now to have another hand in there helping him would be great so i don't know he did say that he likes to work alone yeah. so he does that. like to work listen i'm trying to so there's that i was hoping that you know maybe, maybe. <laughs> you just want to get back out there I do. um jeff bell said my concho did a full spread he did do a full spread well send it to me because i haven't seen it um joseph rogowski said from buffalo new york met ian through eric when they had his iron lung oh, yeah, show e here e eric, e eric. E eric. okay yeah. uh that's how i found out about you also you used to watch full custom garage first couple of seasons can't get it now ah it well, it's is, on map tv yeah. or not map tv it's, it's on, on full, motor trend it's, it's on motor trend so yeah. if you don't have motor trend it is also available on amazon and you can also get the motor trend app and it's fairly inexpensive there you go so there's ways to get it and yeah eric e eric another freaking amazing fabricator yeah. too guy is super creative um and a really really cool guy and i haven't got to really meet him meet him um per se but uh oh, you've been friends on facebook social yeah, media for quite some a, time he's always been a very nice person yeah. to me so um robert spears said on my podcast this week i was comparing the jawas to the kids from the kenny rogers movie six pack i saw that can you draw his camper van and race car on the trailer on a sketchy live episode uh we may do that because that's one of my i i really like that movie too how so. funny um for anyone who doesn't know robert spear um yes is it, is it weekly they do it uh I, robert clarify for robert us. maybe well it's going to be a little bit i want to say i, I want to say it's if it's not weekly, it's like they do a Star Wars podcast called Bantha Milk, it, yeah. <laughs> which he changed the name because his first name, I was like, that is too hard to say. <laughs> That's probably not why he changed it. But, yeah, I'm sure it's but all it is full, much easier. All full credit to ADB. <laughs> it says He's right like, in, this one chick couldn't say it. It so says, we're gonna have it to says right it. in their podcast uh, information. <laughs> I'd like, I'd like the kudos for it. I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you care about. That's funny. Um, but yeah, uh, Bantha Milk podcast. Yeah, all about Star Wars stuff. It, it, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. It's about Star Wars stuff, but it's a, but it's about the whole entertaining Star Wars universe. It really started off where they were talking a lot about the uh, the new um, episodes on Disney, Disney Plus or whatever it was. The, uh, um, yeah, Boba Fett. Mandalorian. And Mandalorian. And they were talking a lot about that. How did I that. know this? How did I know that? Because well, you're, you're hip. I really am. Um, but they they talk so much about different things, and they've had a bunch of cool guests on. People and they have cool drinks. They they drink as they well do. during their they podcast. Drink, they do not drink alone. They do not. Um, and fun fact: Johnny Jalopy on the podcast was it last year? Uh, I think it wasn't was. that long ago. Was it twenty twenty or twenty one? Well, it's twenty twenty one. It was last year. Yeah, okay. I think so. Mm -hmm. um, Peter Work said the best syrup is from Vermont. It is. I, I find that the best syrup is from many places. I haven't. I don't had... really know what syrup is. Bob McLaren said ADB is correct. It's syrup. No. <laughs> He's from Jersey. I That's know. Say it. You say the language. <laughs> what is up with you? Um, you people. 
Alex said you can follow Ian on Facebook too. Yes, you yes. can. That's another way you can. Yes. Um, Jeff Bell said there's syrup in Cajun country. <laughs> so you can have me say things wrong twice. Um, syrup is correct, Itty B, Bob says. No. Nope. Yes. Joe Lombardo said a lot of, a lot of more in the Queen's English. <laughs> English. That's right. <laughs> Howard Pierpont said we need a Zoom happy hour. Guys, let's we do have, this. We maybe when he maybe when he's out there with the McCoys or with Draco, we okay. can do it. That that's would it. be fun. And that's coming up in, in the next week or two. So yeah. keep us posted and be fun. we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Um, Jimmy Barker said you guys should uh go to West Virginia in October for Bridge Day. What we, is that? We we enjoy bridge, it's a fun game. No, I don't think that's, is that what you're talking about? No. Bridge the card game? I don't yeah. know. I don't think that's what he's talking about. Jimmy, what is this bridge day? That sounds that you fun. speak of. That you speak of. Um, Robert Spears said, we are doing it weekly right now because we are doing breakdowns on the Boba Fett show. And yes, it uh... is shorter because of Itty B. <laughs> yes. He changed the name of his whole podcast because I could not say it fluently. <laughs> That's so funny. Yet and she, sad. Yet she at says the same time. syrup. Yeah. So <laughs> was it really wrong before, guys? <laughs> maybe, maybe you've misjudged. <laughs> you may have changed it too soon. That's funny. So go check it out, guys. Band the Milk Podcast. Uh, Robert Spears. Yeah, it's a great. Up. It's a great one. It's a great podcast. Um, Joe Rogowski said Eric did fab work on a '62 Bonneville full custom. Wish he would come back home and finish my car. I'm retired now on limited income. Buffalo has great syrup, also syrup and uh, wings, from what I hear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Buffalo wings. Jeez, oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, Alex said German helmet, super cool. Yes. Uh, Johnny actually has something similar. Well, maybe not with the brim like that, but it is. Is it? Yeah. Oh, he does have this helmet. Um, Jimmy Barker said, or you should come to Charleston for the rod run and do wop. There's a ton of places we would love to go. We need, we, we got to start figuring out how to get to some of these babes just to make an appearance. Well, I think what we need to do is make the most of our, jersey trip because we are we are heading up there in june for father's day to see my dad right um so there was either... no secret or anything you were trying to keep secret secret you no. had a secret no no uh speaking of family um at the end of the month my brother um itty s no <laughs> he would be so mad be my mad. brother steve he's my little brother two years younger um also who has, been on the podcast who has the racing team um he and his son and daughter will be here they were on the podcast last year during their visit here and they've been on it prior to that even i think during another uh prior visit mm -hmm. but um they'll be here in a couple weeks so excited about that um jeff bell said it's scissor in the south though scissor that's right <laughs> Kat the Artist is on. What's up? Ah, hi, I love you guys. She says, we love Kat. She is doing some really cool stuff. Yeah. I mean, well, actually, she just did a video of herself taking down. Did you see that? Yeah. Such a satisfying video of her removing the paint that she had painted on somebody's windows. <laughs> She's just with them a scraper. So up. much want to learn how to do that stuff. But over the holidays, this girl was just doing some cool stuff on yeah, the windows. Yeah, for sure. I, I love her to death. She's an amazing person. She's hard a worker. hard worker for sure. Great mom. Inspirational. She's, she's doing it all. She's doing it all. Yep. So we love you, Kat. She actually drew um, a character of you and I in... Character? Caricature. Okay. How do you say it? Syrup. Did I say <laughs> Am I saying it right? It's caricature? Syrup. Is it a caricature? Caricature. Why do I feel like there's too many syllables? Caricature. But you also say syrup. I do. Um, she did a caricature. Caricature. <laughs> Some <laughs> cookies for kiss kiss. She did a picture, a rendering of Johnny and I, um, and it came out so cool. I love it. Um, let's see. Jeff Bell purple drank, Hank said. <laughs> Jeff Bell said a little bit of lean. 
what are they talking about? Uh, Jimmy Barker. Okay, so Bridge Day is where they celebrate the new River Gorge Bridge. You can watch them parachute off the bridge. It is the largest single arched bridge in the country. Oh, wow. <gasps> and I thought the Skyway was, uh, that's not really single arched, is it? No. What does single arched mean? One peak? Is One that arch, single arch? Babe. Okay, well, the Skyway is single arch, so that's not the biggest or longest or no. tallest. Apparently not. He's saying largest. Do you mean tallest or lengthwise? Is it this way or this way? Um, Kevin Johnson said, uh, Lola, cough, cough, Lola. What does that mean? <laughs> what are they saying? I do not know. Uh, Tracy Corpel said, hey, my friends, back at the shelter again. Others are watching with me tonight. Oh. Other volunteers watching. Shout out to Julie. Jules. What is up, Jules? <laughs> Julie. What's going Thanks on? Thanks for joining hey, us. Hey, everybody at the shelter. Right? Thanks for stopping in and checking it out or being forced to watch us. <laughs> Either one. <laughs> Tracy's such a, <laughs> such a great promoter of the show. We love you, Tracy. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah. Um, Kat said, removing is fun. And then she said, aw, thanks. And then she said, LOL. She's amazing. Go check her out on Facebook. Cat the artist. All right. Yeah, one of those official uh, rap drink artists as well. Yes. And she she does some really good. She paints on shoes. She does it all. She's, yeah. I don't know how. Her and uh, Draco with the, with the drawing and stuff that he does on shoes too. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. I mean, I'm sure you could do it as well. Well, but I don't know. People got that's a cool. That's thing. Their, that everybody's got a different artistic talent. We love it. So some I'm people do syrup. Some people do syrups. What does that say? Uh, the tattoo Ford. Ford? Okay. There's Gotta a love the monsters. Uh, there's a bit of a glare. Okay. There we go. Can you guys see that? Okay. Man, you used to do when we first started out. Look at how little teeny his arm is. I gotta fix that. What the one on the left? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's my strong arm. <laughs> I just saw that. Wow, that's his forearm is bigger than his way out of proportion. Yeah. But it looks like you have no, it's no, way, it's his shirt. It's way out of proportion. Okay, we'll fix it. Yeah, I'm glad I saw it though because that looks really like. What happened to his arm? Cat said, "Looks awesome, except for the arm." For the, she didn't say that. <laughs> except for the weird monster arm. Jeff Bell said, "You say potato, I say tomato." Yeah, two different things. Two different things. So Johnny is drawing in the software called Sketchable, and this is available on uh, Microsoft. And he's been using this since the begin, since a little bit prior to the beginning of Sketchy. Um, and has loved it. I mean, this this program has really worked well for you. I think there were some kinks we had to work out in the beginning because yeah. I felt like we 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 had a couple episodes that were lost completely, where the the picture just went away, um, and then we had some storage issues at one point. But I think you've nailed it down to where we're doing it the right way now, and you have plenty of storage room and <laughs> storage room. We got some. We don't have those issues anymore. We got some. So. <laughs> I mean, we used to have to remind him to save the print. Remember? Did hit save, hit save. Are you hitting save? No. <laughs> Just because I'm saying something now. Mm -hmm. um, Hank said, I'm always a sucker for the monster sketches. Yes. Yeah. Some people really dig this stuff. I, I for one, am more about the cars. I'd rather see the car. I'm not a fan of the monsters. I don't think the monsters are for everyone. Um, but I have to say the way you do them and then in the car that they're in, because there is always a car. People are eating them up. Oh, Kevin Johnson said Iola car show. Yes. I was saying Lola. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Iola. You used a lowercase L. Yes. We, that's, that is a show. I definitely. Now, where's that? That's the one that uh, it's in um, Wisconsin, I believe. Hmm. That's 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 where he's from. Yeah, that's so the that's major. Uh, that's the one that bet. Captain Bob and Arlo. In fact, we were kind of invited to it last year. Couldn't go. Just not. Yeah, we were invited. When is it? When is that one? Um, Matt Bunce is joining us. Matty Bunce. Uh, Matt is also local to our area here. We'd love to have him on the show. He's a 
Um, yes. Yeah, there's one year we did play. It was funny because the year we actually had a calendar and planned out different shows we were looking into was the year COVID hit. We couldn't go anywhere. Remember? Mm -hmm. We actually had stuff planned out for mm -hmm. you to do and to go to. And there was a time when we used to just go as spectators to every little thing. And then once we started selling your art, we went as vendors strictly. Like we never went as spectators. Everything we did was as a vendor. And it was um, probably in the last few years, stuff that we have gone to, we have not vended at. We've only just attended the couple little shows that we've gone to. Right. So um, I know Johnny likes to be a part of it. And, and really, when we vend, I have the table set up and I'm at the table and he's out there making friends and seeing his I'm babies. shaking hands, kissing babies. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm holding down the fort, which is fine with me because I don't I don't know those people. I don't know everybody. Um, I think it would be different um, now. Maybe. Yeah. Because you're ADB. Oh, is that why? <laughs> yeah. You've got your own fans. I don't know about that. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I bet you uh, you're wrong. You would have. I'd be like, uh, anybody here to see me? And they'd be like, Where, is ADB here? I, I did get asked. For a photo once. I know. I was super excited. I'm like, what? Me? He's the guy. I'm just the wine pourer. Yeah. It was neat. It was neat. Um, He said it's July 7th through 9th. That's going to be tough. Because we're going to be in Jersey Father's Day weekend. I don't know if we can get another yeah, no, weekend. Only, but it I is think... a weekend. It looks like it's probably just over a weekend. So It is over a weekend. It's not like it's a week. Okay, like so week. if you could get that weekend off, then yeah, I don't see why we couldn't go. He said it's a great show. I would love it. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I, Ian and um, Jamie, Jamie went to it last year and oh, last um, year. said it was really great. Yeah, it's something we can look into for so sure. I definitely, I definitely like to go. And uh, um, Julie Anderson said we are out grocery shopping, so we are on together. Looks great. <laughs> They're in the store grocery shopping. That's budget. awesome. You guys are fans. There's uh there's I think I fixed that arm. Okay. Better, Let better. me zoom in on that for you. Uh Ryan Sisson said you should do the Buffalo Motorama. Um, when is that? Because we will be up that way. Uh, Jeff Bell said kissing hands and shaking babies. That's right, kissing babies, <laughs> shaking hands, beating children. Eating children. Kat said, um, she said, I'm the president of the Itty B fan club. Oh, I didn't know there was one. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to, we're going to have to do a sticker. You do have a sticker. Not one in production. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. But it could be like, if, if you do it, it could almost be something like the guys could you like maybe pin up because I kind of have that look on my face. Oh, do you? You saw the sticker. It's a sensual you saw, sticker. You saw the sticker. It's a sensual sticker. You know what's up. You know what's up. Um, but then the girls can also be like, hey, represent. I had a beanie on in it. So Yeah. Um, Lizzie said, Ronnie Setzer has a car show in April uh, on the 30th in Carrollwood Village Park. Carrollwood uh, car truck show. Okay. That might be doable in April. Uh, Mike Smith said Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the Iola car show. Okay. So we might be able to do something like that. If you could get that weekend off, we'll see. Uh, Matt Bunce said, I first met you guys at the Christian brothers car show. Got my first shirt from you there. Yeah. I was on my scooter back then. I remember, I felt like you have been on that scooter for years, Matt. I'm so glad you're not on the scooter anymore. <laughs> Sand scooter now. Sand scooter. That's great. We bumped into him at five guys once too. Remember? Yeah, we did. And somewhere else. He's trying to take our fries. No, we saw him somewhere else. I think it was like, was it Walla or someplace? Probably. And then um, and then we did see him again at uh, the show we did in downtown, Newport Ritchie. Yeah. He yeah. came with his wife. So we've, we've actually seen Matt quite often. <laughs> but we still have not gotten together for a meal because we told him we, did we should get that. together. We did say yeah. That, yeah. So Matt, email me and let me know when works for you. Maybe they just don't want to be around you. I, I think they've just been busy. Hmm. They got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, maybe it's just you. Um, Jeff Bell said, remember when Itty B wasn't around for one episode? Johnny hated yeah, it. Yeah, I did hate it. Where was I? Uh, you were uh, up at your... You are visiting your sister. 
I was. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm surprised I didn't pop on. Well, you were too busy. Yeah, that was, um, yeah, it wasn't good. I went back and watched it. Not good. Um, Kevin Johnson said, or back to the 50s or street nationals in St. Paul, Minneapolis. That would be nice, too. That would be nice, too. Um, Hank said, once JJ is asked to sign someone's forehead or cleavage, he has made he has made big time. Um, mm -hmm. First time I met him, he signed my cleavage. That's true. So you didn't sign it as Johnny Jalopy, though. I did not. Do you remember what you wrote? Captain America. You did a star right. CA Captain America. for Captain America on my left boob. So there's that. That was the first night we met. I think that sealed the deal. <laughs> Some people say say things with flowers. I say with a signature on a boob. And he was carrying a Sharpie at that point. <laughs> Even way back when. The guy always I did have a, a Sharpie. Sharpie. Always has a Sharpie. That's so funny. Uh, Jeff all said, I like kids, but I can't eat a whole one. Yeah, I think I'd have to cut them up in pieces myself. Um, Joseph Rogowski said, cavalcade of cars, three, four to 622 outside of Buffalo, Hamburg, New York. That would be cool. I'd love to go to some of these shows. Oh, it's the th it's March 4th through 6th of 22. I see what he did there. <laughs> I was like, wow, three months worth <laughs> of car shows. Itty B with the slow. win. A little slow. Michael Allen is checking in. Welcome, sir. Thanks for making it tonight. Uh, Julie said September is end of the world rod run in Long Beach, Washington. That is a place I want to go. I yeah. want to go out and see the Andersons. I want to go out and see Gary Fisher. You keep saying that. I know. Why are we not doing this? Because you don't make it happen. I do want to make it happen. You you just keep you keep saying that, but you know when it happens, you're like, I can't. Julie said maybe some teriyaki sauce would help. Mm -hmm. Jeff Bell said his teeth look like an old fence I painted. Well, it is a monster. He so. is a monster. Uh, Naz Malone is joining us. Hi, guys. Hope all is well. Welcome from the other side of the world, Naz. Hope um, all things are good with you. Yes. I, I don't, we don't mm -mm. check the news over there regularly enough to know what your day by day and week to what week your is. deal is so boy. we're just we're just praying for you guys and and really everybody over the united states everybody's area is being affected differently by covid still um supposedly there was a huge surge in florida thank god we have remained healthy and safe Zang. thank god um and then we hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe too paul quick healing for you um, Kat said, man, if you guys come to Sparks on the Park show in Niceville, April 1st through 3rd. Yeah, she's just up the road. I don't know how long that would take for us to get up there, but I think probably it'd be six should, hours yeah, or so. I mean, Kat, we would love to hook up with you. That would be amazing. Or even if we did something uh, where we met halfway or something, we'd love it. Um, Kevin Johnson said, back to the 50s, June 17th through 19th, or Street Nationals, July 15th through 17th in St. Paul. Yeah, a lot going on. Um, Tracy said, Itty B, remember my Facebook post? Is it Monday night yet? He posted that a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just I just liked it and put a heart. He said, I just couldn't wait till tonight. He loves well, it. Well, hopefully it's worth it. Yeah. Hope so. We're doing some fun stuff here. Jeff Bell said, for sure. Matt Bunn said, we can't get together anytime soon. I have the no symptom COVID. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. But how do you know? Did somebody else in the family get it? They told you. Russ Randall's joining us. Hi, all. I was driving. Very cool sketch. Is it uh, syrup or syrup? Northern New York syrup is every bit as good as Vermont's. Huh? Mm. Well, isn't it? I mean, it's nah, it's not really close. Yeah, what were we going to say? I was going to say, isn't it kind of up in the same area? Because Northern... No, it's not in the same Northern area. New York is very oh Vermontish. Oh, my God. Isn't it? Is Probably. New York is New Jersey the same as New York? New York stretches pretty far up. Right, but is New Jersey the same as New York? No. Okay, then why would it be the same? It's not the same. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying maybe the... Nope. Uh, uh -uh. Elevation. Uh -uh. The elevation, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Joe Lombardo said, have you guys ever been to the Race of Gentlemen in Wildwood? No. No. Have you? Did I ever take you to Wildwood? No. 
my uncle, Billy, um, who actually lives in Florida now, um, he used to work on the boardwalk in Wildwood. He was a t-shirt guy, t-shirt printer, and um, did all of like Welcome to Wildwood and I Heart Wildwood. You know, he did all of those. I guess they they really they weren't screen printed. They were transfers. They mm -hmm. were just they transfers, were transfers at that point. Um, love Wildwood. He used to vacation there. Yeah. Um, Kat said uh, that the show is right by her house. You can stay with us. Oh. Oh, we may have to coordinate that. That would be fun. Um, Naz Malone said, yeah, let's not get into that. Let's just enjoy your work. <laughs> <laughs> Naz, I'm so sorry. I'm praying for you. Uh, Jeff Bell said, I think we landed on scissor. Not sure, though. <laughs> Alex said, I'm located just feet away from Michigan Speedway. Ah, does it get loud? Does it? Does it get loud? Uh, Matt said his wife has it, and I decided to get tested just because. So. Uh, well, thankfully, you're not having any symptoms, so that's always good. Be thankful. Um, Hank said it might be called mole asses. <laughs> mole asses. I don't know if I've ever had molasses. Oh my god. Have you ever had um barbecue sauce? Yeah. Then you've had molasses. There's molasses in, yes. in sweet baby rays. That's not barbecue sauce. How is it not barbecue it's sauce? It's hot sauce. No, it isn't. Sweet, oh, sweet baby rays. rays. <laughs> it's barbecue sauce. But yeah, there's molasses in it. I don't know. There's molasses in most barbecue sauces. It's Is there the, molasses in gingerbread? It's one of the key ingredients. Yeah, most of them. Hmm. Hmm. So you didn't know that. So maybe I had it then. So I you didn't know that. There's a lot of things I don't know. You know I don't know. You don't know. You know I don't know. I know you don't know. Um, Matt said, Southeastern Street Rod Nationals, Florida State Fairgrounds, December 2nd through 4th. Yeah, we went to that. That was your first car show. Was it? Was that when I almost passed out? Yeah, because it was so hot. Oh, my God. It was so hot. <laughs> I was dehydrated. And, of course, was I wearing – I was probably wearing something You're inappropriate wearing for being outside. Yeah, exactly. I think I even said to you, what are you doing? I probably had boots on or something. You did. And I was trying to impress him and look all cute and stuff. And – I wound up almost passing out. We had yeah. a sit. He had to get me water. I had a cold rag on the back of my neck. It was, like, it was, it was a great. whole thing. It was great. High <laughs> maintenance. I was like, I don't and he know. was like, "What am I doing? Do I want to invest in this?" But was it December? I don't think it was December. It, it was, was during the summer. No, it's December. We met in Florida March. December. You're going to tell me it was nine months before I went to a car show with you? Sure. I don't think so. Sure. It was before that. I don't think it was a December show. It was like. 107 know. degrees outside. Anyways. Somebody called a wambulance. That's all I remember. <laughs> um, Russ Randall said brown sugar has molasses. Really? It's sugar. I thought molasses was like thick and sticky. Huh. Huh. Jeff Bell said boom, knowledge bomb. <laughs> Hank said sweet baby rays is not the original rays. The original rays is on the corner of oh, North geez. and Main. What is that? That's right. What is that? That's a, um, I'm going to assume that is a um, elf reference. The original race. Original race. Oh. Hank said brown chicken cow cow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do we think here? Um, let me zoom in on it. I Guys. Any, I don't know if it's any better than the original one. But. Like some, I think it's cool. Matt Williams said, hey, guys, pics looking cool. Just stopping by. We'll replay the broadcast later on. Stay sketchy. Matt, we appreciate you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Paul Marziani said rum. There's molasses in rum? Makes sense. Maybe. Matt Bunt said Southeastern Street Rod National Nationals used to be the first weekend in October. That makes more sense because it would probably be warmer then. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin Johnson's got to go. Got to sign off. Working on weight loss and got to get my sleep. See you next Monday. Kevin Johnson, I am with you and I should be asleep right now as well. Yeah, we're about ready to, to wrap this guy up. But we got to do our giveaway. Oh, we do. See, you almost forgot again. Mm -hmm. Darn it. Hank said needs to be on the back of a T. Yeah, this one was cool. You really only have one monster. I do. It's, it's actually the monster T, <laughs> but that's the only one that you have. Yep. So another monster would be cool to add to the repertoire of monster t-shirts. 
Yeah, we may have to do that. Something we may need to look into, guys. Maybe ink it up more. Yep. We'll ink it up more than it is, but this is just for. Are you coloring it in? Just we're just going to keep it this solid color. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, we're trying to stay um, at a limited time tonight. Johnny's got an early morning, but we didn't want to cancel tonight. That's right. Um, Jeff Bell said monstrosa tea. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's cool. Do you remember when everybody used to give us um, yeah, a name? Yeah, that, that was great. Yep. I think that's what we're going to name this one tonight. Monstrosa tea. And that'll remind us to get a t-shirt design of this one. All right, guys, let's do the giveaway. All right. What do you got going for the giveaway? I think what we're going to do. We, we have 27 people still on with us. Okay. And what were you giving away again? The two stickers or one at a time? Both stick, uh, st a we're sticker. A sticker pack. We're giving the sticker pack away with the. Uh, oh, with the hat. With so the hat. it's one full giveaway with all three items. <gasps> Crazy, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Jeff Bell said, I win. <laughs> Because he came up with a monstrosity. <laughs> how are you going to do this, Jalopy? Did you uh, plan ahead? What do you mean, how am I going to do it? How are you going to do it? Are you going to do a trivia question? Or are you going to do a first to respond? Are you going to do... We'll, we'll go first to respond. Are you looking for creative ideas mm -hmm. and whoever has the best idea? Or I don't know. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Were those your best suggestions? I those were know. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's okay. So tell us what you're going to do. Season five, episode four giveaway, January 31st, which by the way, last day of the month, guys, we are screaming into February already. Do you have, Crazy. Uh, do you, do you have, let me see your phone. Mm -hmm. Let me look something up here real quick. Mike Smith said random draw. Robert Spears said trivia question. What is Bantha Milk's full name before Itty B? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't say it then. I couldn't say it now. <laughs> Joe Lombardo said awesome. So he's digging it. Can you maybe scoot this down oh, so right. people can see it? There you go. And let me zoom in on that while Johnny is looking up either a trivia question or I don't know what he's doing right now. Well, I wasn't. I thought it had a name. Jeff Bell doesn't. said, who shot Alexander Hamilton? <laughs> <laughs> he's such a nut. Yeah. Such a nut. Okay. Um, Hank said, did Tim Brady retire? Tim Brady. It's yeah. Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Brady retire. Julie said random number generated. We could do a rando. Do we have a random generator number thingy? Oh, maybe. See if you got something like that. Let's see. That might work. Random number generator. Yep. So I would just say generate. Generate. Okay, so so it's between one and We'll do one and 50. Okay. okay. Work. And then how would I, you'd, you'd have to do it on yours. What do you mean do it on mine? You'd have to show it on your screen because then you'd be the, people would do their guesses and then you would just hit generate and okay. then it generates it. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Did, can you reset that? So that's not on there? Um, I don't think I can. You just hit, you just hit generate when you're doing a new number. Okay. All right. So the rules here. Oh, everybody's guessing already. <laughs> so the rule is how many be, people are on there? We have 28 people so far. Okay. Oh, Hank so. said to make the random number 51. That makes sense. That does make sense. Okay. So it's one to 51. So a number between one to 51. All right. Everybody's got the in there. Okay. Whoops. Everybody's got their guesses in already. So he's going to hit generate whoever is closest to it without going Everybody over. Everybody has their number in? 
Everybody get your numbers in. Whoever answered first with a number as close to it without going over wins. Okay, so can you see the all right? So he's gonna hit generate and it's gonna give us the new number. Is everybody's that, that's the number we're in? going on. Yes. No more numbers. 1034, guys. No more numbers. Go. Oop. 17 is the number. So I've got we've got Brandon Kleinlin. Oh, he said 29 tutor. Okay, so Lizzie came in with number 25, so she's over. Matt Bunce is 5, Jeff Bell 12 in the lead so far. Russ Randall 37, Kevin Johnson in the lead so far with 14. Howard Pierpont went over at 37. Brandon went over at 21. Joe Lombardo, so I've got I've got Kevin Johnson so far at 14. Remember that. Joe Lombardo's 13, the McCoys are 29. That's over. Bob McLaren is over. Lizzie 21 is over. Mike Bartosh is over. Robert Spears over. Kevin Johnson uh, guessed Shit. again too it low. 17. It was 17. But Kevin Johnson's first guess at 14 is the winner so far. Draco said Aaron Burr. <laughs> Paul Marziani said 37. Devin said 27. Joe Lombardo's eight. Bob McLernan said whoever's birthday is the closest. <laughs> Lizzie guessed 45. Joe Rogowski guessed one. Matt Williams guessed 31. Hank Dutton, seven. Tracy Cordville at 16. And that was at 1034. So he is the closest so far. Kevin Johnson, 42. Hank at 13. David Lacey, 32. Mike Smith said five, the best number. Just ask Johnny. <laughs> um, and then now we're into 1035. So we stopped okay. at 1034. So Tracy and Cordfield. Tracy Cordville. There you go, buddy. You just won a <laughs> sketchy speed equipment hat and the rare uh, full custom garage stickers. There they are in all their oh. glory. There we go. Can't see them. Hold them up. Uh, okay, hold on. Can you oh, see them now? Yep. It's Tracy Cordville, you just won. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll put light on it. Oh, man, at 1035, Hank. Can you see it better? Yeah. There you go. At 1035, Hank guessed 17 and Robert Spear guessed 17. <laughs> <laughs> that was after he already Random. <laughs> those were random <laughs> guesses with those guys. Well, that was an easier way to do it. Yeah. For sure. Guys, thank you so much for playing, though. Yeah. Jeff Bell said Kevin wins. No, I had 21. It was, it was closest to 17 without going over, Brandon. It was without going over. We did say that in the beginning. Jeff Bell said 16.5. <laughs> yeah, Tracy Cordville won. There we go. Tracy Cordville, you were, you were the winner. Winner, winner, and chicken I dinner. I am pretty sure, Tracy, that I have your address, but if you wouldn't mind sending it for me again so I do not have to try and look it up in my records, that would be fantastic. Um, yes, congratulations. Uh, he said, awesome sauce. <laughs> Super fun, guys. Um, Hank said you should do the random name generator. <laughs> so if it picks somebody close to the name, that doesn't even, how do you do that? Yeah, we'll try something like that next time for sure. Some sort of uh, random. Yeah. But there we go, guys. There's the, uh, there's a little sketch for tonight because I got to get hit the sack. 1030, not bad. It's not bad. You, yeah. you were like a whole hour there. Yeah. Not even. So there you go. Um, came out cool yeah. and, and it it's not even it's not full color but it's still colored it's fun yeah i love it oh tracy you should have sent me your address through private message but now everybody can send tracy stuff <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see robin ridge guys we so appreciate yeah. you tuning in on monday nights and we don't always do a giveaway so um tonight was a, a fun time as a thank you to all of you for your support absolutely but um but it's a fun time every monday night it sure is like i said we we've had people Back watching for oh we've had people watching for four solid years so yes yeah, we must be doing something right where five. they keep coming back so yeah we're not we're not breaking any records with uh a viewership up front but hey the important people are showing up and they're watching and hanging out with us right and please tell your friends yeah hopefully you had a great time tonight 
um, and uh, enjoyed the sketch, enjoyed the back and forth, enjoyed the bantha. I don't know what the whole name of it is. Do you remember the it's whole bantha name? Milk. Of it? I know it's bantha milk now. What was it before? Oh, Jesus. It was like it was like Besker, B S K A R, Mesker, Blesker, Besker, Bantha. I don't know. It was Star Wars stuff. I'm sure. What is? Beep, boop, boop. I don't know. C three P. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh my goodness! You can't make too hardcore fun of uh, Star Wars because I uh, I'm a fan too. So Robert Spear said, "I'm going to send my bills to Tracy's address." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Tracy would love anything anyone wants That's to send right. him. Uh, well, I'm not sure anything. anything yeah. <laughs> the so congratulations, Tracy! And uh, again, hello to all you guys at the shelter. Cool that uh, he got to. Hey, how's that? He goes, look at that, guys. We won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets. To They're going to be like, I'm gets, tuning in next gets, week. Gets what? a chance to win. To wear a hat. Robert so. Spears said it's banter, Besker, and bantha milk. I knew yeah. it had Besker in it. What was you the, gotta and, give me that? And what was that. the what was the the uh, origin of the of that uh, of that name? What's the origin? Robert, what is the origin? What is the or, origin? What is the please? origin? And use it in a sentence. No. <laughs> He'll tell us. Um, Julie said, thanks for the fun. We love hanging out with you guys. We OG Monster Mondays, right? Oh, hey, we kind of did a little throwback to it. OG it basically about this, this quality of a sketch is back then. <laughs> no, it was a good one. It was still fun. It is fun. I think I'm going to make his eyes yellow. Oh, so he's going to be adding a little bit of color here, guys. $20. We didn't even say how much these are. $20. Well, you stopped saying that a long time ago. I know. 20 bucks on the website for our Monday night sketches. Um, right now we have added shipping. That's something we need to tell people. Yes. We've added shipping. So if you now order, there will be shipping. Included. If you order it now, but it's a flat fee shipping. So, and, and we've also implemented tax for the state of Florida because we have not been charging that either. Whoops. I've been paying for it, but we have not been charging it. So yeah, we've been we just, just kinda, need to recoup some just costs kinda, guys. Kind of eating it. It's been four years of us eating that cost. So we we appreciate you guys and you know everything that you've you've done to support us and the purchases and everything, but we do have to we're still offering free shipping. Well, we're not really offering free shipping. Yeah, where did you get that? From? I just said we're charging for shipping. So we're no longer offering free shipping. Yeah. But it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is, guys. So we appreciate it. Um, good answer with the tax on air, LOL. <laughs> right. so, well, I have been paying it. I, I total it up and we've been eating it because it's we're only getting tax on Florida purchases. And quite honestly, not I don't think it's a good I don't think it's a good idea to talk about tax, uh, your tax situation on, on the air. So I'm just saying I just I me too. I'm just the saying the point I'm trying to make is that the majority of people I that are also, ordering things are from out of state, which I think is cool because we are nationwide at this but we are actually we're worldwide worldwide maybe. we've had plenty of people from over you know who i haven't seen in a while dccf yeah he's been working i'm sure i miss dccf he is our france contact um of course we've got naz and we've got others from australia yeah and uh we have uh england followers as well so super cool grateful, jalopy grateful, army all over grateful. the world very exciting super great um, Robert Spears said the origin is from a galaxy far, far away. So we're uh, not going to get a good answer from him. <laughs> that is the answer. Oh, Joe Lombardo said, by the way, I work for the Treasury Department. Yeah. <laughs> I pay my taxes. <laughs> Check is in the mail. Oh, Russ Randall said you need a world map tracking sales. We actually do have that. I have that through yeah. PayPal. So cool stuff, guys. All right. We're going to let you go. Thanks again, Tracy. Have a great Rock. night. Enjoy your stuff. Hey, and by the way, don't forget, uh, with every order, I forgot to show. Yes, yeah, I forgot the wristbands are right the wristbands. up here. Yeah, up in the front. Um, I'm not flipped over, but, uh, you know, hopefully you saw them as we're drawing. You two can have your own Stay Sketchy uh, wristband. It is free with every order. So if you go to the website and you order something, you get something cool. It says John Jalopy and Eddie B on it. And then on the other side is, of course, the Stay Sketchy because you got to stay, you got to stay sketchy. You got to do it. It's that's the best way to be. It is. It's sketchy, man. It is. So stay sketchy. All we'll right, see guys. you guys next week. Single, single.